um, Shazbat, um, do you think that stem cells might be developed to the point that they could fix your back problem? In the meantime, can you recommend a pain reliever? <laughs> I strained my lower back recently. I can't move without hurting. Um, <laughs> okay, the, the obvious caveats are I am not a physician. I am not a doctor. I'm not an expert on life extension. I'm not an expert on, on backs, although you know, I'm about as good of an expert on backs as probably anybody out there, given all the problems that I have. So let's start with the, with the really good news. I mean, I think stem cells already at a point where they could fix a lot of back problems. And here, I think Adam will appreciate the fact that the only reason stem cells are not used far more extensively for back problems is because of the FDA. You know, so here's the story. It's a simple story. My doctor, um, so I, I, I had a ruptured disc, L3, L4, what was it, 2017. I went to the doctor and he said, look, you know, we can clean it up, but we probably need to fuse it. And I said, he'd already fused L4 or 5. I said, I'm not fusing another, another thing. One fusion is all I'm doing in life. I'm not fusing it again. What I really want you to do is I want you to go in, clean it up, and inject stem cells into, into the gap where, uh, you know, where, I have, uh, where I had a disc. And he said, I've never done it before. I said, you know, I like you. I trust you. You're a good doctor. Figure it out. Literally, right? And he went away and he, he called up a bunch of people and he called up the company that produces the machine that if you take uh, bone marrow out of a person, it spins it and you can extract the stem cells. And these are not very good stem cells because they came out of me in my late 50s. So they're not exactly the most vibrant, eager to eager to reproduce stem cells. So uh, ideally, I would have saved my umbilical cord. It would be frozen somewhere and we could extract stem cells from my umbilical cord. That would be the ideal, right? Um, uh, and, then, and then you could use your own young stem cells uh, to do this. But anyway, uh, he did this and um, he had, so I was the first ever that he did. And, and I think one of the few ever in California. So he brought down, they brought the machine. People came to watch this because they'd never seen it before. It was all outpatient. I went in, they put me under, they, 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 uh, they make a hole in you. They put in the little robot, they go in, they scrape it all. They clean it all up. It's pretty cool science, pretty cool stuff. And then he went in and took, they, they, they take bone marrow out of your hip, out of my hip. They spin it. They, and then they inject the, not the bone marrow, but they inject the stem cells they extract from it into where the disc was. And, uh, you know, it took, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a few weeks of recovery, um, but it wasn't too bad because I was home that evening. So it was outpatient. Um, you know, uh, when I, when I had the, uh, the fusion, I was in hospital for like five, six days. I mean, that was major, major surgery and major recovery time. Anyway, uh, months later, we did an MRI. A year later, we did an MRI to see what happened. And there's a disc there. I mean, there's a disc between L L3 and L4. I mean, it's not as robust as, uh, you know, but there's a disc there where there was, there was barely anything before the surgery. Now there's a disc. So the body, the stem cell stimulated the body to reproduce, you know, a uh, 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 disc. Um, so I asked my doctor, I said, so you're doing a lot of these? Look, this is like... Uh, and he, he was all excited. He was going to write this up for a journal article. I don't think he ever did. But um, but he said, you know, stem cells are not approved for this use. The FDAC has not approved it for this use. So if I start doing that, I can't advertise it. And he said, if I start doing it, I don't know if I, I'd get into trouble with the FDA. You know, I don't, I, I, since, but he can't advertise it. He can't let people know. So. As far as I know, people, because I've recommended this and people have called him up and asked him if he's doing it. And he said, no. So, and this is pure FDA. This is all about the FDA limiting the use of stem cells. Even when it comes to knees, they, they limit it, even though people have been using stem cells for knees for, forever and then no side effects and no downside. Um, they, 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 it's constrained and, and it's, it, it's just horrific. So there are solutions. So Shazbat, there are places you can go. I think I think there's a guy in Houston that does does it. Um, 
Um, and and uh, they might be, uh, there are places in Europe that do it, um, in Switzerland. You remember the, what was the quarterback, uh, Manning? Uh, Peyton Manning. You remember Peyton Manning, the quarterback? Uh, he had it done in Switzerland in his neck. He had stem cells injected into, into his neck uh, in Switzerland. But in the United States, it's almost impossible, impossible to do it. There are places in Panama, but, but I, you know, I just don't know. Um, but the FDA screwing up our lives uh, uh, in ways that are just horrific, just horrific. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.